Hi folks, my name is Christian. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope to inspire you today. I hope to inspire you every day. Here's how I hope to inspire you. I have a ton of stories in my mind. I have looked up for the last 30 some years. I love revival and I know there are some of you out there who love revival. I also know that there's some of you out there, men, who have uh, backslidden who who were on uh, on fire for Christ who had a first love that has dwindled and died because of busyness because of the cares of the world because of sin and and you can't think about it too long because you're you, you actually believe deep down inside it's too far back it's it's too hard to to get back to that childlike revived faith i want to encourage you that you're wrong I want to I want you to understand that 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 there is always a way back and if you're willing to repent if you're willing to believe if you're willing to go through the hard stuff all the way back to Golgotha God will give you a new chance he is rich in mercy the multitude of his mercies will overwhelm you I hope to inspire you today I really do I hope to stir up the gifts in you I hope to uh cause you to want to communicate with the Lord, to speak to him, to have relationship with him once again in your life, instead of pretending. My first story to inspire you is about the 1904 Welsh Revival. I'm sure you've heard a whole lot about it. If you've ever been a, a fan of revivals and uh, the moving of the Holy Spirit and, and the impact it had on nations, on people, on individuals, and the individuals that God used as manifest tools to get this done and the power, you could say what you want about these men's theology, but you cannot deny that Christ with his power was gloriously upon them for ministry. D.L. Moody would say, you know, it's one thing to have the Holy Spirit in you as a believer. It's a whole other thing to have the Holy Spirit upon you for ministry. And there are men who were, who claim to have been uh, baptized in the Holy Ghost and their lives surely spoke that. I'm thinking in this case uh, of a man from the 1904 Welsh Revival. And uh, his name was Evan Roberts. And the Holy Spirit w came upon him, and uh, there was a hundred thousand souls in a short short time. I'm sure you've heard all the stories uh, that are popular. Yet some stories aren't so popular. I'd like to end this video with this story to encourage you. If you know anybody who's an alcoholic, this is a great story to remember. Um, this young man who grew up in a Christian home during the Welsh Revival, I, I can't remember his name, I just know... You know, some of these stories are stories that I've heard from testimonies, from my studies. So I, I can't always rem tell you verbatim, but I, I know that this story stuck with me. So I just want to share it with you. Take it as you want it. Um, but this story is about um, a young man in his 20s. He grew up in a Christian home. You know how the whole thing goes. Got in trouble. Uh, I should say got involved with the wrong troublemakers and uh, they got into drinking and at that time during the Wales uh, revival most people employed were employed somehow by the mines there was a lot of coal mining mining in Wales or mining of minerals in some some way shape or form um, and uh, it was dirty work and uh, most of these men were foul-mouthed uh, uh, brash men, old and young, uh, tough, rugged, uh, iron horse working kind of men. And, um, and this y one young guy wanted to really get into the, uh, the cool crowd. And, uh, they used to drink a lot, I guess, uh, working in those kind of conditions. The only enjoyment that they could imagine themselves having is the wrong spirits. And that would be the alcohol. And so they were given to alcohol and drink. And they, one day this, uh, during the what, revival, uh, Welsh Revival, this young man uh, is in the bar and he's with his friends, a whole bunch of them at the table. And, he, and uh, he goes to grab his drink and he goes to grasp it and he couldn't grasp it. And, uh, 
and the, his young friends started laughing at him because they thought he was joking. And then it became a little more serious and they really started laughing, but he wasn't laughing. He was overwhelmed with fear because he would try to grab his drink and he would be using all of his effort. And he was overwhelmed by the fear of the Lord. And he ran home and he wanted to talk to his dad and find out what was happening. But his dad was at a revival meeting praying for him to stop drinking. He went there and he asked his dad, what's going on? And his dad said, son, this is the almighty God that has come down to take your hands from the drink. And that man was saved and became a minister and preached the gospel the rest of his days. Because after all, when you've been touched by the fires of revival, you smell like smoke for the rest of your life. Bye, folks.